Well, we are so glad to be joined with 2023 defensive lineman Hunter Osborne from Hewitt Trustful High School. And uh, Hunter, uh, I just got through talking with Christopher Vizina, and he said you guys text each other because both of y'all have kind of had the same type of year and that your recruitment's really taken off. Tell us what kind of your friendship with him is like a little bit. Oh, CV's my boy. I mean, we've been we've known each other, I think, since middle school. We played basketball against each other for our uh, school teams in middle school, and we've just kept in contact over the years. And I know he's a great guy. I know he's a great player. I know how good he can be. He knows how good I can be. We just always push each other. We always, like, you know, keep each other up, congratulate each other all the time. Well, I asked him this question, and I want to ask you the question. Both of y'all have had very similar junior years where it just seems like your recruiting has really taken off. Kind of when did you know and when was the, the wow moment or when did you know, okay, this is going to be something special um, that you knew maybe an offer came in or there was a moment you're like, okay, things are about to really take off for me. Uh, I say what happened last spring. I got offered by Texas a and after our spring game. And that was like my really first, oh my gosh, it was my first SEC offer. You know, Texas a was a great program. And the offers just kept on rolling in. And then, you know, it, it came to the summer, going to camps. I got offers during summer, during the summer, at these camps. And then I say when September 1st hit again, that's yeah. when I had my really major wow moment because I think I got bombarded with three Power 5 offers in the same day. Yeah. So that was, like, my really, like, initial, like, this is this is really happening. Yeah, you had a huge day, September 1st. I remember you tweeting about it. We just kept tweeting, retweeting what you were doing. So it was a it was a big day for you, man. And, you know, you guys, Hewitt Trustful as a program has just continued to, to send players to college. Is there anybody that you still keep in contact with that you kind of are leaning on for advice to go through this process? Is there anybody you talk to or coaches kind of helping you through this? Uh, I know a coach would definitely be Austin Tucker. He's at Florida State. Mm -hmm. He coached at Hewitt Trustful a few years ago when I was like playing little league, but we talk frequently. And he's my he's one of my go to guys, older guys about this whole process and decision making. And he just helps me take my time. And even though he's at Florida State, he just wants to, what's best for me. And then definitely some older guys that play, played in the program with me that I still talk to are Malachi Moore, who's at Bama, Trey Washington, who's at Ole Miss, Sean Jackson, who's down at Auburn now. I, those three guys, if I need something, I go to them and they'll always hit me back with the response that, you know, that's genuine and that's very helpful. That's awesome, man. And, and that's an important thing. And then, of course, like you said, you, you talked to Christopher as well, that you guys are the same age kind of going through this process. And, you know, you've had some huge offers kind of like you said, since spring, summer, fall. I mean, is there, is there anybody, any leaders in the clubhouse right now or are any offers that stand out to you or are you just still waiting to see, hey, what else is going to happen? Um, this, you know, I wouldn't say everyone's even because I look at how much they try to reach out to me during this whole process. But definitely I see some schools that are, you know, higher up than others, but it doesn't really mean anything at this point. It's really early, mm -hmm. I would say, because I'm, I mean, schools are hitting me up every day or every week or so, and more and more just come in. So you got to like, just take it slowly with it. You can't, I don't want to rush into it, but definitely schools like Oklahoma, Oregon, Ole Miss, let's see, Mississippi State, Florida, Texas a m Let's see. I know I don't have the offer from Bama, but we, we talk a lot. We talk mm -hmm. very frequently. Uh, Let's see, who else? Michigan, I know, Florida State, I haven't got the offer from either, but I talk to them almost every week. USC, let's see. Uh, just some some of those, those are some of the schools, but I didn't know, I talk to them more frequently than others, and Nebraska as well. That's awesome, man. And, you know, I know you just, right before this interview, you posted, uh, you're headed to Auburn this weekend to watch um, them play Georgia. Um yeah. So, you have any other visits lined up, or is that the only one you kind of got lined up right now? Uh, so, I'm going there Saturday. I don't know where I'll be next week, but I know I plan to be at Michigan versus Ohio State. Okay, that's Michigan, a big one. November 27, that's a huge one, yeah. And then <laughs> I'm trying to set up a game, visit to Penn State. Oh, I forgot to mention Penn State's another school that I talk to a lot frequently. They're up there. Penn State, and then I'm trying to get down to the Swamp in Florida, and definitely Oklahoma. Those are like some other schools that I don't have a set date yet, but I'm working on it to you know, yeah. the range. 
Okay. Well, that's, that's a pretty, that's a pretty impressive list that you're putting together there. So, <laughs> uh, and, and, may, and, and you should get to watch some really, really good games, man. So that, oh, yeah. that would be good. So, um, but just tell us a little bit about, you know, um, when you, when you kind of think about your high school season, finishing out this year, you know, you guys still have everything in front of you. Um, you know, what does that look like playing with your teammates and then, kind of seeing that translate to into on the collegiate field into offers for you. What's this year been like for you? Oh, it's been, it's been a one heck of a year. It's definitely been my favorite year so far of high school. I mean, being on varsity these past three years, I've just learned so much, but this year just playing with my guys, I think we really understand each other and we really, this is like the strongest we've been as a team, I would say. So we're, we're all playing for each other and we may have some losses on the, uh, on the table, but that doesn't define us as a team. We know how far we can go. And so with me getting these collegiate offers as the year goes on, they're just all happy for me. It shows me how it's like a true team is and that we just, you know, that's what I'm looking for that when I when I pick a school, you know, great chemistry with a team. But we definitely know how far we can go. So we're just trying to work every day. Right. And, and let me just say, full disclosure, uh, and he's talking about them being close as a team to everybody listening or watching this. Literally, when he hopped on the interview, I told him about a player from Hewitt Trussell that just got an offer like two minutes before he got on here, and he was excited for them. I mean, it, that's that's just kind of Matt Miller, right? He what positions he play? Like tight end, wide receiver. Tight end. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and so he got an offer from UTM right before Hunter got on here, and he was excited for him. And so I, I just love that. I love that about you guys as players. And so, um, man, I just want to say this. We wish you nothing but the best. Uh, we hope that you continue to get all the offers that you want and you get to you know follow the Lord and make a decision that's best for you and your family. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Yeah, and I appreciate you taking the time to be on here. I know a lot of people – there's a lot of people around the country interested in, in your recruitment and what you're thinking about and what you're deciding because they're going to get a really, really good player. We've, I've watched you play uh, a couple times this year on TV and, and had that opportunity. And so, uh, man, uh, impressive what you're doing, impressive what you and Justice are doing on the D-line. That's That's been a really fun thing to watch. Yes, sir. Thank you.